Hi, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about MLA and APA citation styles. Um, and a lot of people come into college already knowing MLA pretty well because they did it in high school. Now that's because MLA is associated with uh, people who are studying English, uh, other languages, cultural studies, and so on. Um, which tend to be a lot of the subjects that people are learning how to write in when they are in high school. Uh, but APA is used often in college for social studies, uh, social sciences, um, business, and nursing. So if you're in those subject areas, you're going to be using it a lot more than you ever would have when you were in high school. Um, and so a lot of people are unclear of how to switch from using MLA to APA or even what the differences are. Uh, so today, today we're just going to talk about a couple of tools that can help you to recognize those differences. Um, and just break down um, a few of the more obvious differences between these two citation styles. Okay, so um, with MLA, typically we um, are using the 8th edition when we talk about using um, MLA citation style. Uh, that's the latest edition that just came out a couple of years back. Um, so if you are looking for the paper copy or the hard copy of an MLA citation style handbook, it looks like this, featured on this PowerPoint slide with the nice multicolored cover. Um, APA has gone on to its seventh edition. Um, that actually came out in October 2019. Um, the one that is featured here on this slide is from the sixth edition, which is the older edition. Um, there are some differences between the two. Um, I believe a lot of the instructors here at Delaware State University are still using the 6th edition, but eventually they're going to move on to use the 7th one. Um, at this point, it kind of varies from instructor to instructor. So if you're ever unclear about which version we're using, you should really talk to your instructor and um, get some clarification on that. But when in doubt, I would say to use the newest version, which would actually be the seventh edition. Um, we have hard copies of all of these citation style manuals here at the library, so you can visit us to take a look at them. Um, however, most people find that they prefer to use online resources. Um, and especially if you're not available to come on campus for any reason, especially for this semester, um, it's really going to fall on some of those um, online resources instead of the paper copies that um, us or other libraries might have available for you. Um, so let's take a look at one of those resources right now. Okay. So the one that most people around here use is Purdue OWL. And that's just Purdue um, O-W-L, like the, like the bird, um, OWL. And that stands for their Online Writing Center, or Online Writing Lab, excuse me. Okay, um, and this is what their web page looks like. So um, they've already started using um, the, the latest edition of APA, the 7th edition, um, but they still have the 6th edition guides up as well. Um, you can actually access these guides by going over to this menu on the side. So I'm interested in APA. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Um, and I really wanna access the formatting and style guide here. Okay, and this is like um, an important thing to note when you're using citation styles. You need to keep an eye out for three things. Um, the way that the paper is formatted, because there are differences in how you format an MLA paper uh, when you compare it to an APA paper. Um, the in-text citations, which are woven throughout the body of your paper. Um, so they're in-text where parenthetical citations is another word for them, because they're often in parentheses. Um, and you can actually find um, examples of how to do it in these guides. Okay, so... Um, using the seventh edition. This is basically explaining how to do the in-text citations for um, APA, right? Um, and finally, you have the reference list or the bibliography that comes at the very end of your paper, which are the long form citations, um, which tend to trip up a lot of people because they tend to be a little bit more complicated than the in-text or the parenthetical ones. 
Um, let's see if I can find an example for you. Let's go here. Okay, so they tend to look like this here. Okay, um, so you have like the last name, comma, first initial of the author, um, then in parentheses, the year that the work was published in, um, then the title of the work, and then um, the publisher. And if you're using the sixth edition, it will have the location where it was published, as well as the publisher. But in this case, we're looking off the seventh, and for the seventh edition, you just have the publisher listed instead. Now, uh, this is for a book. If you were doing a journal article or um, a newspaper article, there are uh, special um, ways to cite using those. So, and again, you have a breakdown of it up here, which explains where everything goes, um, what needs to be italicized, um, and you, you do want to pay attention to the punctuation because it's pretty important. Um, but this basically breaks it down for you. Um, and again, you have the MLA counterpart down here. And again, you want the formatting and style guide. So you have the in-text citations down here, which explains how to do um, those parenthetical or in-text citations. Um, which in this case is usually just the author's name and um, the page number that you found the, the, the quotation that you're using on. And then you have the works cited page examples that are woven throughout here. So for a book, um, again, you're breaking it down. You have last name, comma, first name, the title of a book in italics, uh, the city that was published in, um, the publisher, and then the date that it was published, with an actual example down here of how to do it um, with all the proper um, words that are in italics and punctuation. Okay. Um, and there are other tools that you can use um, when you are learning how to cite. Um, I know there are citation generators out there like EasyBib, um, which can be a good start. Um, a lot of the databases and other tools that you learned about in our other videos also have um, citation generators. And they won't generate like an in-text citation, but they will generate um, the citations that you use at the very end of your paper for your works cited page or your reference list. Um, so you can use those as shortcuts, although we highly recommend that you double check them. Um, against a reputable source like Purdue OWL to make sure that the citations generated are correct. Okay, um, if you have any questions about citing an MLA or APA, uh, please contact the library. You can send us an email at libref at desu.edu. That's L-I-B-R-E-F at desu.edu. And we'll be happy to respond to your questions. Um, you can also chat with us in real time if you go to the library's main page um, by using this chat box over here. And we can answer questions that you have through this as well. Okay, so I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, please feel free to give me any feedback that you might have um, so that we can continue to do more videos like this that can help you. And I hope that you have an excellent rest of the day. Take care.